This episode has been brought to you by CompleteNutra.com, whole family nutrition. It's really a new world when we look at how to be well today because nothing can be left to chance. Nothing can be left to let's just do what our parents did and hope for the best. And I'm going to give you a really tremendous example of that, Dave, which is, you know, back in the day when I was studying nutrition, we did not actually know about Roundup or glyphosate. We didn't have GMO foods. Mm -hmm. Years and years later, I learned that glyphosate actually entered the food agricultural industry in 1975, but nobody wow. talked about it, kind of went in quietly, and, and there weren't Roundup Ready or GMOs yet, so no big deal, right? But over time, more and more agriculture used Roundup as a weed killer, and our wheat started to become tainted. So what was once called the staff of life has since 1975 systematically been evolving into the staff of death. Because in today's commercial wheat grown in the United States of America, not only is the wheat seed GMO, which means Roundup Ready, which means it's going to get sprayed with Roundup during its life cycle, but after the wheat is cut, they come back through and drench it again, spray it thoroughly with Roundup because that speeds up the drying out or desiccation phase. So your wheat, staff of life, remember, is now truly a death staff because you're eating glyphosate and the liver, and this is really tragic, and this is why we can't be complacent, we have to really be proactive, the liver mistakes the molecular structure of the glyphosate for a nearly identical amino acid called L-glycine. So it actually takes up the roundup, it brings it into its processes, into the flesh of the liver, and it starts working with it as if it was L-glycine, but it isn't. Mm. So we're seeing a huge, huge increase in fatty liver disease with non-alcoholic patients because mm. of how the liver has to start incredibly creating fat to protect itself from this enemy, this villain, but it's too late. It's already in the liver, you see. So, so today they're doing that with wheat and corn and probably every other commercial grain that gets cut and lays on a field and needs to hurry up and dry. So what are we really saying here? We're saying that our food has been weaponized. That's what we're saying here. And that yeah. you can't leave it up to chance, that you just can't afford to leave it up to chance if you value your health and well-being. If you already have some issues and some illnesses, you definitely can't leave it up for chance. And thank you for joining us for the Healthy and Family Show. Visit our website at healthyandfamily.com. That's healthyandfamily.com to see what all the other doctors, experts, and real moms have to say about keeping your whole family healthy. This episode has been brought to you by CompleteNutro.com, whole family nutrition, and aired on the Goldstone Network. People, planet, future.